Okay, so let's learn about Avogadro's number and the mole. And first of all, what is a mole? Well, it's just an SI unit that scientists use, and the mole describes how much or an amount of substance that you have. It can be anything. And so you might be thinking, well, why can't I just use units of weight, like kilograms or pounds and things measuring weight? And that's because, um, well, let's demonstrate this with a simple reaction here. What if you wanted to mix hydrogen and chlorine to make hydrochloric acid? And if we're going by weights, let's do one gram of each. Well, hydrogen and chlorine both are different sizes, and so hydrogen is much smaller. If you had one gram of hydrogen, you'd have many more hydrogen atoms than you would have atoms of chlorine in one gram of chlorine. And this is where the mole comes in. And basically the mole is um, a certain number of entities, and this number has been scientifically determined, and so you would have the same number of entities as there are atoms in 12 grams of carbon. Carbon is the standard. And so that number that we're looking at is Avogadro's number. And that number has been determined to be 6.022 times 10 to the 23. Okay, so what does that mean? Well, if you have a mole of something, whether it's a mole of hydrogen or a mole of pennies or a mole of feathers, you have this many pieces in that mole. And each mole of whatever it is, if you had a mole of hydrogen, it would have a corresponding molar mass. And for the atoms and the elements, these masses are known. And you can find them in their periodic table. And so the atomic weights, or the molar mass, they're the same thing of hydrogen, is 1.008 grams. And chlorine is 35.453 grams. So you can see why using weight simply just won't work in reactions. So let's now look at this in the context of this problem where you have a can of coke and it has 0 .004 kilograms of sugar and we need to find how many molecules of sugar there are in a can of coke. And you're given the molecular weight of sugar so one mole of sugar weighs 180.16 grams per mole. That's the units for molar mass. So let's look at this down here. We know that we need to go from kilograms to number of molecules. And the way that you set this problem up is just going to be a series of um, conversions. And so I like to set these up as railroad track type problems so I can watch my units cancel out and that way I can check everything. So um, we need to go from kilograms to molecules. Our molecular weight was 180.16 grams per mole. So we know we need to go from kilograms to grams. So let's do that conversion and get rid of kilograms. There's 1,000 grams in a kilogram. Kilograms cancel. Okay. We need to get from units of weight to molecules. So the mole is our um, conversion factor for that, so we need to go from grams to moles, and this is where molecular weight comes in. So in one mole, there is 180.16 grams. Grams cancel. And then how do we get from mole to molecules? Well, that's where Avogadro's number, because we will have 6.022 times 10 to the 23 molecules in one mole. So we will put that up here, molecules in one mole. All our units cancel, we're in molecules now. You can just multiply this out because that's all there's left to do. And you find that you have 1.34 times 10 to the 22 molecules. So we've learned what Avogadro's number is, what the mole is, and how to convert from units of weight to actual units of molecules in this problem.